You're in the end zone. Brought to you in part by Macon Bedroom and Mattress, Fountain Car Wash and Lube, Georgia Orthotics and Prosthetics, The Rifleman, and Robin's Bed and Mattress with Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Big game tonight at McConnell Talbert Stadium as the Northside Eagles host the undefeated Lee County Trojans. Northside suffered its first loss of the season last week to Valdosta, so it needed to bounce back against a tough Lee County team that had allowed just 11.8 points per game coming into this one. Huge game for Region 1 in 6A. Here we go to the MAC for the highlights. Eagles back at home, and here come the Eagles on the field right there in front of always a good crowd there. At the MAC first quarter, Eagles the ball to Vice Oliver from the shotgun pass. Deshaun Deacons complete, knocked out of bounds around the Tro Trojans 26. That would end the first quarter with no scores. So they would switch sides, and Dinkins would get going again. Handoff, that's another first down. Eagles knocking on the door. Now Oliver the pass, Jalen Sandifer. Touchdown, north side on the board. They would miss the PAT, however, and it was 6-0 Eagles with the lead. Later in the second quarter now, north side backed up near their own goal line. Number four, Marcus Jolly with a run to the 14 right there. Then Oliver is going to keep it, and there he goes. And he is gone. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. I went to Georgia and I can count backwards. Look at him go. It's a touchdown right there. 85 yards. They would get the PAT to make it 13 to nothing, and that was the score at halftime. Northside goes on a win at 26 to 7. Eagles are now 7 and 1. They host Coffee next week. Now to Region 4 and AAA. First, Peach County and Macon against Rutland. There's a blood red sky there on this October evening. At end of four, first quarter, Peach County the ball on the Rutland 43. Antonio Gilbert hands off to James Jackson, and he does the rest. He is gone. Touchdown. Peach County on the board. PAT was good, and it was 7 0 Trojans after about five minutes in the game. Rutland just had trouble getting any offense going. Peach County, the ball on the Rutland 30. Then Gilbert with a quick throw to Devontae Howard. He is heading to the end zone. Call to the five, but look, they're going to push him in there. Where's the Zebras? They're not around. They're going to score. Touchdown, Peach County, and the PAT was good to make it 14 0 with 4.55 left in the first quarter. Rutland just had trouble all night long on offense, not much against Peach County, but the Trojans were doing it on offense, and the 22, Gilbert, fires it to Howard. He makes his man miss and scores again, touchdown. Then Peach County would go for two, penalty backed him up to the eight, Howard, nice pass. Pierce Jackson makes a nice catch for the two points. Trojans led 22 0 midway through the second quarter. They go on to win it 45 0. Peach County improves to 6 1. They host Kendrick next week. Rutland now 2 6. They host Central next Thursday night. We stay in Region 4, AAA, and head to Henderson Stadium. Jackson at Central. Here we go for the highlights of this game. And there's the Red Devil on the field at Henderson. First quarter, Jackson the ball now handoff. And Tavius Greer, nice gain up the middle for the Red Devils. Then the quarterback, Shadarius Crowder, another nice run. He's going to get about 24 on this one. And a first down for the visitors. Then the handoff to 22 again. Greer, look at these moves. He is going to get back in, cut back to left. 15, 10, 5, and score. They are on the board, made it 7 0 after the PAC. The visitors on top. Second quarter, good defense here by the Chargers. Cameron Collier is going to get the fumble, and they're going to get it to 5 and score. How about that for an easy score? They would miss the PAT, however. That would be 7 6 Red Devils. Jackson goes back to work. Nice pass here. Darian Ingram. Great play, great pass. And that's a score. That is dirty right there. Nice play. They made the PAT to make it 14 to 6. Central gets knocked out here on this next play. Watch this. Here we come. It's going to be a rib rocker. Boom. That hurt right there. But they would recover. Red Devils would add six more on this run here by Greer. They are in control of this game. Kind of weird at the second quarter of this game. Jesse Hicks, is Jesse Hicks the Central coach, actually got tossed out and was furious. Boy, Jesse was not happy. They, they must have been wrong because Jesse would not go crazy like this if he wasn't right. Chargers lose it 40 to 18. They are at Rutland next Thursday night. Tucker Sargent is coming up with our game of the week right after this.